Yo, what's going on Comfy Gang? It's your boy Comfy Neat and today I'm going to be talking about how I lost all my friends. Um, well, I guess since becoming Neat, but I guess more so in general because I've had several groups of friends that I've lost over time and um, well, I haven't really had that many friends to be honest. I really only have had my high school friends and my, I guess, friends that I met during university. And I guess you could consider my my cousins friends in a sense because they kind of tried to invite me out and stuff, but I sort of lost contact with them. But I guess it was more so for different reasons, but um, I guess in a nutshell, the reason I kind of lost contact with my friends is because well, I would basically, um, I don't know, well, at least with my high school friends, I'll talk about them first because they were, I guess, people who I, who I kind of knew the longest. And, um, you know, I guess we were pretty tight. Well, quote unquote friends, we were pretty tight. Um, I guess when we were hanging out in high school and stuff, and we were always in this sort of group of seven or eight people who would basically hang out during lunchtime, during break, um, after school around 12th grade when my parents started to give me a little bit more freedom to do what I want. And um, yeah, we would basically hang out. And um, when I went to university, we continued to, I guess, quote unquote, hang out while like playing video games and stuff, uh, which is mostly like um, League of Legends, um, stuff like that, just like playing online games, played a little bit of CSGO, but just basically playing online games together and that's how we bonded, playing games and like Skyping. But um, it was during university that I, well, I kinda had trouble balancing my I guess my university friends with my, what's it called, my high school friends, because basically they would always want to play games uh, during nighttime. And um, my university friends would always try to get me to smoke weed with them, uh, you know, blaze up um, during the nighttime. So I would basically kind of have to juggle that and you know it would be kind of like a running joke that um i would kind of like disappear and quote unquote die like my like my friends would always ask um if i like i don't know jokingly ask if i died or like if i if i signed on to like league of legends or like the skype group or whatever or answer the Skype calls joined in, they would be like, holy shit, um, like Comfy Needs Alive. Um, and yeah, but this is kind of like the start of it, I guess. And, you know, I kind of got tired. I kind of get fed up with, you know, being around my high school friends a lot because um, they weren't necessarily like friends in the truest sense or, um, you know, there's a lot of, I don't know, disrespectful behavior going on. And um, I don't know, that's the thing like, I can't really tell if it was just the way friends are supposed to talk to. Cause I know like peep friends, it's normal for friends to like tease each other and it's like a sign of trust, but I think with this group of friends, it kind of went a little too far a lot of the time. And, you know, like um, every group, well, in a, like a lot of friend groups, uh, there's typically like the group, like, you know, fake alpha, who was always putting down the other people in the group. And, you know, it's like whoever he started dissing would get dissed. And sometimes it was me, sometimes it was somebody else. Um, and yeah, so kind of got annoying sometimes and 
didn't want to be around that negativity. So I would oftentimes just like, um, you know, not wanting to hang out with them for a while. And, but yeah, this kind of happened on and off. And um, I would meanwhile always try and like hang out and smoke weed with my uh, university friends. And, um, but yeah. Um, what am I even saying? This is probably a really crappy video. Um, but anyways, this kind of continued on. And even when I became neat for the first time, because of unforeseen circumstances, I was neat for like a year before going back to school and trying again. But during this time, I, I basically had no excuse not to hang out with them. But I would, you know, have periods where I would either, you know, I think it was when I'd feel depressed or, you know, sometimes find it really hard to talk to people. And because of that, I would, I would, uh, you know, be online less and less because how we would meet up is usually like, you know, I would log on to league and then if I'd saw someone, if I saw them playing, I'd ask the next game. Or if not, they would ask, if I was on first, they would ask me uh, to, to, uh, you know, play next game with them. But like, yeah, a lot of times I just wouldn't log on to league and I wouldn't check Facebook messenger and, or if they asked me, told me to get on, I would just say, come up with some BS excuse as to why I didn't want that. And eventually I would just stop going on for maybe like a month or two. And then all of a sudden, like I would lose contact with them, contact with them like on and off, like in periods of like one to two months and then hang out with them again and then kind of repeat the pattern and but eventually at some point you know um i don't know i guess at least with my high school friends i feel like what caused me to what caused them to eventually stop reaching out to me was um uh, well it was when i was uh you know i guess i kind of give off this impression that I'm stoic because I don't make a lot of facial expressions but you know I I appear as if I'm like stoic but it's really like fake stoicism because I am quite emotional and um, this especially comes out when I'm playing video games because for whatever reason I really just can't control myself especially um, when I'm playing competitive games like League, for example, and people are being retarded or I'm lagging. It's really a lag that pisses me off, especially, but because it's like, it's something that's outside of my control, so it doesn't feel fair. It feels like um, life is cheating on me, but like I'm being cheated by life. But anyways, I... You know, I feel like I raged a few times and then, you know, they were giving me shit and uh, I just inted, intentionally fed. Basically, um, uh, what's it called? Let my team lose because I was pissed off and um, that pissed them off and they tried to like, all like the group narc, I don't know, like what he, I guess he always thought that I was like, stoic or stoic or whatever and um that i think he kind of liked me around because i would i was one of the few people who would talk shit back to him but that was really more so because i was maybe autistic so well not autistic i'm not autistic maybe slightly slightly spurg like so i didn't really you know, adhere to social cues, social rules as much. So I kind of felt it was okay to diss him. And he, I guess he kind of liked that. But when he saw that I wasn't stoic, that I was, you know, basically going full tarb rage while playing uh, league and, you know, getting pissed off and stuff. I feel like he kind of lost respect for me because as much as he was kind of a dick to everybody and me and a lot of people, um, he... I guess, I don't know. He was the one who would always try to get me to hang out. But since that point in time, he hasn't really reached out to me. 
and um, hasn't asked me to play anything with them. And um, it's not like, or it's like maybe I lost whatever power. I don't know how fucking social dynamics work, but he, um, well, I guess maybe the impetus was supposed to be on me to reach out to them now, but because I'm the type of person who never, uh, I guess, reaches out to people because of partially social anxiety and partially just being extremely lazy, but a lot of it is just not wanting to be rejected, so I don't reach out to people. And because of that, I just gradually, for the last time, kind of stop being in contact with them. And then, except this time, instead of being like a two to three month period of not speaking to them, it was basically just permanent and um yeah i haven't really spoken to them in a while um only one friend from that group messages me from time to time but it's really nothing serious it's like just sends me the occasional meme on facebook messenger and um that's pretty much how i fallen out of contact with my high school friends as far as my university friends go I feel like they, um, uh, uh, fucking hell. I was kind of friends with, I guess, them out of convenience, but um, it's kind of like because they couldn't be friends with anybody else cooler that we just kind of hung out in university and first year and that kind of just became our thing to hang out with each other. But, um, you know, I guess they, um, I was really close to like maybe two or three people and um, I guess all of them graduated, all of them moved on with their lives and I tried, um, you know, um, you know, when I went back to school, I was still um, going to school, but they're already working. So it's like, I was actually roommates with one of them, but it just, wasn't the same. He didn't really ask me to hang out anymore. And he kind of had his own life, his own social group. And he tried to, I guess, test the waters. Cause I feel like uh, this person could always tell, this friend could always tell um, if, could always tell that I was sort of socially off, awkward, maybe socially anxious or whatever, but he kind of just, um, you know, kept me around because, you know, we were friends for the longest time and we sort of, you know, we sort of also had, um, I don't know, trauma bonding, I guess, because we had this other mutual friend at one point who kind of turned out to be quite, um, quite uh, messed up, let's just say. That's honestly a pretty interesting story I could tell, but um, yeah. But things didn't really, but apart, so I guess that's why he kind of like still considered me a friend is because we had that shared, that shared experience of dealing with another really shitty like previous friend. But since uh, moving, since going back to school, um, it just really wasn't the same. So uh, it was just very awkward and he had his own social circle, social circle. And, um, you know, I didn't, you could tell that I didn't really have any friends apart from the times I would, you know, Skype sometimes. And I didn't really have a social life. And yeah, I guess because he was normie, um, I guess that's kind of like a dead giveaway that I'm a freak. So he didn't really invite me to hang out, even though he had like people over partying. He just, maybe I should have, went out and asked if I could have joined, but I was also too socially anxious. And maybe that made me, that made him think I didn't like him and his friends, or I didn't want to be friends maybe, or maybe he didn't just didn't want anything to do with me because he never asked me to hang out. So it's like, yeah, I mean, he still played games with me occasionally, but it just wasn't like back in a university where we used to hang out all the time. And let me just check, check the time quickly. Um, okay, and yeah, finally, um, the last people who I sort of 
lost contact with well i'm just basically the same thing happened where like i i guess when i came back to be neat for the second time um well i didn't he we didn't really keep in contact i never reached out to him he'd occasionally you know send me a message we talk for a bit but then i'd reply and then he would reply for like a long time or i wouldn't reply for a long time and then because i was checking my phone and then he i'd reply back but he wouldn't say anything back i guess because he was annoyed and um finally uh with my cousins i guess you know they tried inviting me out uh to raves and stuff and i had a good time i well i'm forever thankful to them because i got to try um certain things experience certain things but at the same time it's like no amount of extra help if you know what i mean extra um help from the outside of your body is going to overcome really severe social anxiety and deep deeply rooted insecurity so because of that you know when you're in these environments everybody is sort of just free and loose and everything and is able to talk to each other and have fun and i was able to do that to an extent but you know i just eventually when i do things like when i was when i would start to wear off or and when i was like sobering up or if uh you know i smoke weed for example my insecurities would come right back up and i would just act in ways which were really off-putting and cause a lot of, of misunderstandings and these are all stories which i guess i could tell another time but because of that they invited me out maybe like two or three times and then afterwards uh pretty much all my cousins haven't uh you know kept in contact with me since haven't asked me to hang out anymore they they tell me things like yeah we should totally go next time I'll, I'll next time i'll make sure to invite you like did you have fun yeah uh yeah just uh next time i'll definitely let you know like if we're gonna do anything again and lo and behold i find out that they're going to their own like festivals and whatever and i guess i don't really like the music when i'm in unless i'm under the influence but regardless i kind of have fun I kind of do have fun at these things, but I guess I'm just too, I'm too low value or whatever. I'm too weird, too strange, too socially anxious. And because of that, they never asked me to hang out anymore. I mean, they're still nice to me during family gatherings and stuff, some of them, but it's like, I can tell that they all think I'm weird. And so that's, I guess, how I sort of, you know, couldn't take that any further with them they don't ask me to hang out anymore and but in a nutshell the reason i've lost contact with all my friends is because well it's based a lot of it is my fault because i never took the time i guess to reach out or maybe they stopped reaching out to me when they realized i was weird or i wasn't of any value to anybody and um basically thought I was weird and I was a freak and um that's how I ended up basically alone and a hickey neat for the past you know three years of being neat pretty much until I made this channel I basically wasn't talking to anybody except you know occasional family gatherings or you know maybe like my aunt and uncle who visit frequently because they live pretty nearby or um my parents at dinner but otherwise that's i guess all i have to say about losing my friends um yep uh this is company signing out hope you guys enjoyed this depressing content and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this video peace